In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best sites that you can use to get free data sets to test your Power BI skills. We're going to look at some of the challenges that you can join to test your skills or look at past histories and see how others have approached the same problem. And we're also going to look at some of the other websites that you can use to search and download just data sets. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So when you're working or learning with Power BI for the first time, it can be a bit difficult to apply new design or techniques that you've learned as skills, especially if you're not really working in an industry that gives you data sets to work with. So today I'm going to show you some of the places that you can visit, which will allow you to download data sets which you can use to practice your skills to your heart's content. And by the way, this is a continuation of a previous video that I covered where I looked at some of the websites that you can use to download free datasets online. So if you haven't checked that one out yet, go check it out. It will be a different list from this video. One of the first few places which you should check out are community challenges held by different organizations. Usually they organize a set of challenges for you to work from and they usually organize a set of challenges for you from designing a dashboard to answering certain business questions, which they usually start by giving you a data set to work with. There are actually a few to choose from, but today we're going to look at some of those challenges where you could not just join the current live challenge that they have, but also allows you to download their previous datasets from previous challenges. The first one that we'll cover is Onyx Data. So every month they have a dataset challenge uh, where you can win different things like Amazon gift vouchers if you participate. So if you look from their website here, you have the ability to join the dataset challenge, the current one, or you can look at uh, different past challenges. So let's just take one for example here. You uh, have the data dictionary here, as well as some information about what the challenge entails. And then finally, at the very bottom, you have the ability to download the data set here. So you just put your full name and email address, and you'll be able to download the zip file containing the data sets for you to work with. The next one that I found is Makeover Mondays. So now this site holds weekly challenges for Tableau. So you simply choose the year that you want to see and it will give you a tabled list of all the challenges for every week. So in this table, you have a list of all the challenges every week. You have a couple of links that you can follow. You have a link to the data sets. You have a link that uh, someone reviews the approach towards that uh, specific challenge in Tableau. This is probably not really relevant to us since we're using the data in Power BI context. And this link, Watch Me, allows you to see how they have approached in creating that uh, report in Tableau. Again, not so relevant to us because we're using it in Power BI. The next one is Workout Wednesdays. Again, it's another site that holds weekly Power BI challenges where you can download uh, data sets and follow along with the requirements that they have given. So here, for example, uh, this is a challenge on how to create a calendar heat map in Power BI. So if you're someone who needs a list of requirements to build something, this one is a good website to follow. So check it out if you are not familiar with this one yet. So the next one is the Fastman data challenge. Now I found this from a post in LinkedIn and I can't really find the post anymore. And it's essentially just uh, is a list of data sets that you can download and work with, no strings attached. So now we move on from the data challenges um, and instead look for ways to search for simple data sets online. So this site is a good one, datahub.io. So it's an open source platform with tons of data sets that you can download. You can look at certain collections that they have here, air pollution, 
climate change, economic data, education. There are lots of data sets to choose from here and all of them are for free, at least for sample purposes anyway. So it's a good place to find and get data from. The last one that we're going to cover today is dataset search by Google, which is essentially a search engine for data sets. So finding data sets online instead of finding articles. So let me show you how it works. So first you search what data set you're looking for. So let's pretend that I'm looking for UK house prices. If you hit enter there, it will give you a list of different sites that can give you UK house prices across other sites. So you have uh, different sites here. You have from our uh, gov.uk, from the ONS or Statista, which you can uh, pick and choose where you want to get your data set from. So using this search engine is pretty useful and it's free, but the availability of the data sets can be dependent on various websites. So for example, if you want to get your data set from Statista, this website, if you want to get data from it, actually requires you to have a paid service. However, for example, if you wanted to get data, for example, from the ONS, this will be completely free. And that's really it for this video. I hope that by now, if you're struggling to find data sets, you now have a list of options available for you to check out so that you can start practicing your Power BI skills. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I need to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.